In the heat of midsummer, a certain madness takes hold of the inhabitants of Vancouver. Paying homage to Saul the Sun God, these beach-bound primitives stage a sea festival which includes the world's first, best, and largest bathtub race. Starting point of the race is Nanaimo Harbor on Vancouver Island. The racing craft must be or contain a bathtub and an engine of six horsepower or less. And the race is on. Stock Exchange is a marketplace, a place where buyers and sellers of securities meet to conduct their business. The competition of supply and demand is the fuel which runs the system. If your offer is better than the offer listed, your trader calls it out and the board marker writes it down. Business is done by open outcry to catch the attention of other traders. When a sale is made, the traders complete a trade ticket. Each trader keeps a copy for his firm, and a third goes to an exchange employee to be entered into the exchange computer. All trades, buy-sell information and messages are transmitted instantly on the ticker to brokers, quotation services, and the media. From the surface, our planet appears to be a solid sphere, but in reality, it is covered with huge tectonic plates which are constantly in motion. About 95% of the world's earthquakes occur at the edges of these plates. The majority along the ring of fire. The plates can also push toward one another, one plate sliding underneath, producing the friction and earthquakes common to these subduction zones. A subduction zone like this runs along the west coast of British Columbia where the Juan de Fuca plate is sliding under North America. This action makes the British Columbia coast an earthquake-prone area.
times are tough, but let's just step back a moment and we begin to see an astonishing future taking place in downtown British Columbia. The stadium is a state of the art. BC Place is undoubtedly going to be the largest urban renewal project in Canada, possibly in North America and maybe in the world. We're looking at approximately uh, 12,000 housing units, uh, housing about 20,000 people about seven or eight million square feet of office space. There'll be parks, there'll be marinas, there'll be waterfront uh, areas, there will be a science center for children. It will be the public heart and gathering place for the people of British Columbia. Just as exciting, Expo 86. This has got to be the greatest people event ever held in the province of British Columbia. Canada's federal pavilion will be built here on Pier BC. Later, it'll be turned over to the people and become our trade and convention center. It'll pour millions into the economy. Things are coming together on Terminal Avenue, too. We have the most advanced light rapid transit system in the whole world. It's a new technology designed in Canada, built in British Columbia, and providing 3,000 jobs in the process. While most of Canada struggles against bad fiscal management and world recession, we're working to build a better BC. We're staying ahead. This is where their origins lie. Baptism by fire in Europe during World War II. This is where they come from today. The ranks of Canada's airborne forces. Men who go to work by parachute. They are the few chosen from many who volunteer to demonstrate the fitness, the skill, the sheer courage of those they represent. They are the Canadian Forces Parachute Team. This is the flight of the Skyhawks.